this is the outcome, and you're going to go and do hamstring two in order to sort this out. So it's quite a neat little model, and these are the sorts of tasks that all of us will be uh, pretty, pretty f familiar, familiar with. And once the whole group has attained these levels, certainly in the early parts of, of, of the cycle, then we can start to make prescription look much more individual, but based upon the outcome that we're trying to deliver. So, you know, we've got a couple of examples here of, of, of what a hockey um, program might look like, the sort of stuff that it, that it might feature. And this is the same for the men's uh, and, you know, and the, uh, the men's and the women's, uh, women's programs. So, again, it's one system, but we make individual uh, decisions based upon the specifics of, uh, uh, of, of the team or the, or, or the individual. So we're focusing on range of movement. It's low to ground, uh, dynamic mobility, uh, a lot of movement control, uh, landing control based, based tasks. Okay, again, just trying to give you a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a flavor around our prescription strategies. <clears throat> and then we've got the normal stuff. You know, you recognize this in all of our programs. It's really you know, important that we de uh, develop a decent level of bilateral unilateral power, <coughs> and that we have a good level of anterior hip and trunk strength. You know, we are a running based sport and once we've got uh, tolerant and well conditioned uh, tissues, particularly around the hamstring, you know, we also need the capacity to apply a lot of, apply a lot of force, you know, protect those hamstrings in the late uh, swing phase of high speed running, for example. So that was uh, me just whistle-stop tour through um, the prescriptive strategy with one example around tournament durability. Uh, when we go to the top of the model, we're talking about um, the game-specific needs, or we might also, in some, to some regard, talk about uh, game impact training. And these are the, uh, the sport-specific activities that take, uh, that take place. Um, I, 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 this, this could be a talk on itself, yeah, I could talk to you about this for hours. So what I want to do is just kind of represent it to you. So again, uh, we, we focus on these, uh, these areas uh, if they're important to us or if they happen uh, frequently within, within the sport. Um, and this sort of stuff, as I say, orientates around uh, the, the specific role that an athlete might, uh, uh, an athlete might have. <coughs> so I'm going to show you a little bit more video, really just to kind of uh, il illustrate the complexity of the task. This is uh, kind of a return to play process that one of the guys had, had, un had, under had undertaken. And it just kind of demonstrates that kind of pathway of increasing complex, uh, complex movement. Okay, so he's specifically or, you know, working towards developing uh, you know, a good level of ball, ball retention. But if you've got a dodgy ankle, dodgy knee, that's going to be a real, a real challenge for you. And you know, significantly high level of skill within this area, which is why so much of this has a, another model, another graph, graphic. Um, so, you know, um, this, as I say, is a pretty complex process. There's a significant crossover here when it comes to the skill acquisition side of things, um, when it comes to the, the motor learning side of things. And if you look at that centralized model, as I say, that orientates around that. It orientates around the progressions through the movement pathway. And we are directly involved in, in, in that process. But as I say, the complexity of describing and explaining that uh, probably take too long. But if you orientate yourself over to the right-hand side, <coughs> the orange uh, um, flow largely um, highlights uh, the need to reflect uh, physical changes in order to match uh, the movement progressions. Okay, so the point is that if you're if you're going to develop uh, complex movement tasks, you really you know you really need to uh, develop the physical att attributes within uh, the tissues uh, and within the joints 